Hello, in this video, we derive the cumulative distribution function of an inverse gamma distribution. And really, that derivation is pretty straightforward, but we'll introduce some new nomenclature, which I think is worthwhile to have in your statistical tool bag. So here, the CDF, we'll call f of x, capital F of x, which we're integrating from 0 to x of the inverse gamma distribution. One note here is that beta is in the denominator and some people have the beta in the numerator. Here we'll let t equal 1 over beta y which is this exponent minus the negative and then when you back solve for y you get this. Now if we take the derivative of both sides, derivative of t, and this is in uh, derivative of y, you get 1 over beta minus 1 over y squared dy. And then you plug in y for here and you get this piece here. So now substituting this back in here, um, first we let 0 go in here and that means this kind of blows up to infinity. And then x you plug in there, you just get 1 over beta x. Gamma comes down, beta comes down, the y, we plug in this, and we get here. Uh, you know, that whole piece is t. And dy was this piece, which is this. Now, now we simplify. So this beta to the minus alpha cancels with one of those. Um, then we have a beta to the alpha, but a beta to the minus one alpha, those cancel. <clears throat> um, t squared you know this t squared can be put in with this t squared and when it all simplifies down you get t to the alpha minus 1 this has already cancelled we have 1 over alpha and this is it so now um, oh this minus 1 we plug in here and we switch the limits of integration now we generically, so if we take this piece out here, that is what's called an upper incomplete gamma function. And then that is this piece, which is called, you know, just a gamma function evaluated as alpha. So this piece here is called an upper incomplete gamma function. Now the whole piece, when you... Um, have an incomplete gamma function and then you divide by gamma of whatever this parameter is that's called a regularized incomplete gamma function and now we do go from this number to infinity and so that's why it's that's where the upper comes to play but if we went from a number to zero or zero to a number it's called a lower incomplete gamma and it's denoted by little case gamma this is uppercase gamma so this would be the lowercase gamma now the R commands that we use to calculate this here's a note that if we just take the CDF of the gamma function in R which is P gamma and then X here you know 0 to X that is alpha and then since I like it in the denominator, you have to call it scale. Um, you could leave, if you leave off scale, it's called a rate, and that's where it puts it in the numerator. So this piece is, this is this. But this is sort of close to what we want to calculate, right? First of all, we're, instead of going from zero to a number, we go from a number to infinity. So we could take one minus this to get this. But somehow, you know, the beta is zero in this case. And, and then we have to just put one over beta x. So that's what we do. So one minus P of gamma, where this is a CDF. But we evaluate it at one over uh, beta the x. But remember, this goes from zero to, zero to that number. But the one minus makes it go from that number to infinity. Alpha and beta is 1, and that's it. And that's the R command to calculate this. We could also use the same command, P gamma, 
but we say lower tail equal false, which then it means it integrates the upper tail, which this is equivalent to one minus that. And this piece here is exactly this regularized incomplete gamma function. Yep. And that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.